Hi and welcome to Alison Young YouTube channel. One of the reasons I've put together this short video is to help you understand why when we teach and I work with clients and I teach students that's so important to understand your own posture, your own physical anatomy and how this can help you work out pain and discomfort within your body. So I'm not going to do a whole anatomy session on this, but what I want to do is just bring your own attention because once you understand what your own body and how your own body works, it can help to relieve any of the symptoms of discomfort and pain. Because when I work with clients, one of the first things I do is educate them, not only on some of the basic muscle groups, but my understanding is when I was taught once I understood a little bit about anatomy and how it works and how the muscles of the problem area interconnect and how the nerves run and where they are, I was able to go, ah, so that's why I'm suffering and that's why I've got discomfort. Because rather than a client just coming in and going, okay, so we're going to you know, treat you, massage you, you're going to go away and then what happens? The pain comes back or the discomfort, because you haven't understood how to prevent it from coming back. So in this session, it's gonna be quite brief, but just to start to help you understand what can I do to reduce pain and discomfort from my body? Because at the end of the day, as a therapist, I want my clients, they may come back for maintenance, but to take them to a point in their physical journey where they can start to help themselves by understanding. Now behind me, and it's quite complex, but I'm only gonna use it as just to point out a couple of things so that you can kind of pinpoint it on your own body. So if we look at the body itself, as you can see, it's a lot of muscles. Um, and if I bring it a little bit closer for you, okay, just so that you can understand. Okay, so we've got the back of the body here and then we have the front of the body. Now, when we do any work with posture, alignment and gait, and why I say it's the most important thing to understand is that when I'm working with a client and I say, okay, let's look at how you're standing, how you're presenting yourself. I'm gonna give you a quick example because I'm basing this one around any discomfort that you're experiencing in the head, neck and shoulders. On my Facebook channel, I did a short video, how to demonstrate to relieve that tension. So now I wanna go a little bit more in depth and we're gonna just focus on this upper body, start off with a lot of clients that come in. As we know it can be tension leading and tension loading, all because of how they're sitting, how they're standing, how their posture is. So with regards to massage and some of the self-treatment that I did, you know, that's great to help you help to reduce some of that tension, but hey, how can we prevent it from coming back? Now you'll notice, and I'm doing this on, on purpose, so if you look at my posture at the moment, okay, what can you see? What about if I bring that shoulder back and move it so that you can see that they're both level? Okay, so if I'm working and over time I assume this posture, for example, a lot of the muscles around this area are going to be imbalanced. If you look on this side, they're going to be shortened, okay? And on this side, they're going to be overstretched, which straight away causes the body to come out of balance. And that's what we need to do. Now, sometimes there can be uh, deeper pathologies that can be causing the problem. So, if I just point out so if we look, we just look at some of the basic superficial muscles here. Okay, so this area here, this nice diamond shaped muscle is called the trapezius. And this trapezius is a muscle that covers the top of another group of muscles. So you imagine if I peel that back underneath, I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer so that you can see in a little bit more detail. What I will do as well is I'll kind of going forward, I'll do some shorter videos with some pictures and I'll annotate it as well so it's easier to see. But if I just bring it a little bit closer, what I'm looking at here is the upper trapezius, which we tend to focus on mainly around the superficial 
and the deeper muscles, and these are called the shoulder cuff rotator group. We got um, four, this, we call them the sits, the supras. I'm not gonna go into, into anatomical detail. And then we've got a group of muscles here. And also underneath this, you'll see another muscle coming up under here, the levator scapula. So it's quite complex. All of those muscles where they work together and you're feeling that tension loading and you get that ridge. When we are out of kilter, the muscles, therefore, all of those muscle groups become imbalanced. So if you can start to understand why those muscles are pulling on one side and understand that if we level that posture and bring the shoulders back to how they should be, all of a sudden the tension loading is going to be spread evenly. Now the thing is, it's like anything, you think about, um, for example, You've done the same posture, the same body use time and time again, whether or not it be forward leaning. So it's taken you many years to get to that point in time where the body feels the tension loading. So to undo that, what we would do is we'd look at, as I said before, the posture. But if you've got some conditions like scoliosis where the spine is out of kilter, so it's causing that, okay, we're not going to manage to if it's a a muscular scoliosis, then we can do some work on that. But by taking the deviance, when we mean deviance, if you look at my shoulders, if I bring that shoulder down and bring that shoulder back and make them nice and level, it's causing the muscles either side to start to come back. Now, even if you have a muscular scoliosis or another underlying pathology or condition, Okay, so you're not going to be able to completely bring that back to alignment. By, by changing slightly, you can take that pressure off. Now, there's a lot of other conditions, for example, and the list of pathologies. But to keep it short, to keep it sweet, for you to have a better understanding, when you understand that the muscles are working, you know, it's like the pulling power. As one muscle lengthens, on the other side, the other shortens, okay? So by bringing that back into nice alignment, it will take that pressure off. So when we're looking at any pathologies around the shoulders, again, and as I said in the massage video, when you overcrowd everything here and you overstretch, the muscles around this area are going to focus and concentrate on the central areas around here so this is either side or we call it the trigger point areas on the upper trapezius which is around this area that gets tight if everything's overstretching it's pulling so if you think of your spinal column okay at the back here especially around the cervical if you look at that and how that's kind of pulling tight and releasing if it's overstretched what do you think can happen can cause shortening and compression loading through the spine and then all of a sudden what happens is one of the discs may prolapse slightly, pull out, affect the nerves, nerve compression loading through that spine. So when you understand how physically the way that you, you are can have that effect by releasing that, opening and stretching it, it can make such a difference. So if we look at, as we've talked about, you know, the main muscle which comes up and the other thing that we find is that when you have had a posture and say we're looking primarily at just the neck and the shoulders for you, so over a period of time, it's going to take quite a while of repeated use of bringing the shoulders back to where they need to be to take that pressure off the spine, okay, but it can be done. The thing is, when we look at where you are, so sometimes we go, oh, I wanna be completely fixed and healed and not have any pain. But it's like anything, in time, if we can take you on a journey to improve it, 10% improvement is gonna take that pressure off, make sure that you're in less pain. My God, that is gonna make such a difference. So when we come back and we look a little bit more into the anatomy and physiology of the body, so I'm gonna take you a little bit closer again. Okay, 
So when we look at this upper trapezius, okay, here, which is this large muscle, and so we're only focusing on basic anatomy at the moment, where that pulls and goes, inserts right under this area, which is called the occipital region, okay? And again, there's a group of muscles here which pulls, shortens, you're gonna get pressure around the back of the neck going right up into the skull. And you'll see as we come up and the face of the muscle goes across the top, then all of a sudden you're gonna feel that tension, that pressure, pressure loading across the shoulders. So what do we say? How can we make that difference? We make those changes with the posture, we correct, we bring in a few exercises, which um, we do with remedial saling technique. We take the pressure off. But if you can understand the fundamentals of a few of those basic muscle groups and how they're acting, all of a sudden, it enables you to have an understanding more of your body. It enables you to make those changes that are gonna improve you going forward. You're never too old to make these changes, you know. Every little difference that you can encourage your body to make, you're gonna see a difference. So even when we come to exercise and mobilization, which I do quite a lot of work on, the idea is if you balance, increase the flow to that area, all of a sudden you're gonna have a, a reduced level of inflammation because you're taking the pressure off, you're increasing the mobility around the joints. So when we do any of the head turns or the inclines or the chin tucks, this is all aimed at strengthening mobilization but also releasing this effect which happens when we shorten the neck and shorten the vertebrae. Okay, so what can I do? How can I, what do I do to start? So the start, and we'll do another module on that, is where you would look at your posture. You change your posture, you focus on pulling up the core, leveling the shoulders. Also, little food for thought. The brain, the way it's, um, it's, it's actually wired, is that if I continually use my right hand for example that's going to become and actually prove this now going forward that it can have a real impact on neurological systems and information going up so when you constantly use one arm and one hand you're actually going to shorten that muscle that's going to be your dominant side so the brain will focus mainly on that side so actually the prefrontal cortex in the brain will favour that side. So it's a bit like, um, do you remember the brain training apps that used to come out? Oh, it was a while ago. And we've now found that actually brain training, anyone can do that, is stimulating whether or not it's reading, doing activities. Dancing and singing, going forward, is really good because it encourages both the left and the right side. So one of the things when we're looking at this, is I encourage people, use the opposite arm as much as you can. So all of a sudden, rather than just using the one side, you're using the other. What happens is when we start to do that, we don't favor one side as much, we take the pressure off. The other thing that can happen if your posture from here downwards isn't right, then that is gonna have that impact on the upper body. But as I say, just going forward, if you can understand that if we utilize the right and the left side together, those key muscle groups, and we're only focusing on a couple today, of the upper trapezius, okay, which is the nice, sorry if I move it round, is the nice diamond shaped muscle. These start to become much more, less pulling on one side of the spine than the other, okay. So going forward, don't be afraid to ask if you're seeing a therapist, you know, what muscles are being used? Because if you start to understand how anatomy can make a difference and how we bring in posture, which is why we always do the corrections, 
then you start to have an understand how you can move going forward. So as I say, this is just a short video to kind of highlight a couple of things that I want you to become aware of, the muscles, and even if you learn two muscles of your body, even if you understand the pulling power, one side shortens, one side lengthens, you're more likely to actually adopt those postural changes and those muscle changes that need to happen. Because if I just tell you, okay, just stand like this and bring the shoulder back without telling you a little bit as to why we do that, I can guarantee you'll go straight back because you won't understand or, or you kind of think, well, I've had a treatment and that's made a difference. So just have a look, or even if you kind of, as I've just pointed out, where the upper trapezius is, how it inserts into here, how if we take that first level off, there's all those interconnecting muscles, you start to appreciate why it's so important. So again, using the right hand and the left hand as much as you can, help you to balance so if you've enjoyed this video if you hit like or subscribe I will be doing a few more and I'm going to be doing a lot more shorter videos as well as I know it's easier to kind of if you need to search under how to change anatomical position or posture it's much easier to search okay I look forward to seeing you soon